All right, who's ready to watch some amazing basketball on the hardwood? The world famous Harlem Globetrotters are coming to State Farm Center next week. And joining us now is Zeus McClurkin, who plays forward, hanging out with us today. Thank you for being with us. No problem. Thank you for having me. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. And it's even better now that we get to visit with a Guinness World Record holder, Globetrotter. <laughs> Five times. Five time World Record holder. Oh, my word. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about those, uh, those um, Guinness World Records. What have you got records for? Yeah, uh, so sometimes I forget them, but uh, I have the record for the most behind-the-back three-pointers in one minute, the record for the most bounce three-pointers in one minute, the record for the most slam dunks in one minute, the record for the most consecutive alley-oops, and the one I'm most proud of, the most blindfolded dunks in one minute. I made eight dunks in one minute blindfolded. Oh, my word. I have no idea how how one goes about doing that. But congratulations. That's so exciting. Um, let's talk a little bit about your career um, playing basketball, because it sounds like as a youngster, people may have underestimated you um, and the potential that you had as a star basketball player. Absolutely, Heather. I, I didn't actually make my first basketball team until the 11th grade. So I got cut from sixth grade all the way to 10th grade. Then the summer of 10th grade, a miracle happened. I grew five inches over the summer. So I was finally tall enough to play. But a lot of my coaches and teammates said I was too nice and I smiled too much. Um, you know, I had a guy go as far as to tell me, you know, all you ever do is smile and dunk, man. That's all you do. And today I get paid to smile and dunk. So it worked out for me. So I tell kids, you know, if you're a nice person, stay a nice person. Don't let people try to change you and tell you that you got to be mean in order to make it in this world. Look at that smile right there. Like, that'll get you far, far in life. <laughs> you know what? They should give you a Guinness World Record for the best smile because that looks very <laughs> nice. How, though, did were you able to keep going and persist at playing basketball when you kept getting door slammed in your face door after door? Because I would think that would be very challenging to, to keep motivated to, to play basketball. Absolutely, Heather. Well, I actually, while I wasn't excelling in basketball, I wasn't excelling in other sports. Like I played football, baseball, volleyball. I was on the swim team. So I was developing these athletic traits this whole time while I was getting cut from the basketball team. And each coach and every player that ever cut me, I was using them as that motivation to try to push me to get to that next level. And eventually, you know, I ended up playing basketball uh, in college. I walked on to a Division One basketball team in North Carolina. Um, I uh, played overseas directly after that and that's when I found out about a team called the Washington Generals who famously loses to the Harlem Globetrotters um, and that was my introduction to the Globetrotters. I played one season against the Trotters and that was when I fell in love with them. Um, I, I saw everywhere that the Globetrotters go, they're the hometown team and I wanted to be a part of that. You know, I wanted to be a part of the group that comes to Champagne, and when I get a high five, you're not faking me out, I'm actually giving you the <laughs> high five and we're enjoying our time together. And uh, eventually the Globetrotters got tired of me dunking on them and they signed me over to a contract. Well, congratulations. And we're going to get to see a little bit of that action on Wednesday, January 11th, when the Globetrotters come to town to the State Farm Center, 7 p.m. Tickets on sale now. Let's talk about what a game, a Harlem Globetrotters game slash show experience is like. Yeah, so at one of our game shows, you're going to see uh, <laughs> high-flying slam dunks. You're going to see uh, half-court trick shots. And uh, most importantly, crowd participation that's really unrivaled in sports. Like, we'll come up into the stands there and we might, you know, sit beside you, shoot a trick shot from uh, from beside you, um, eat your popcorn, because we get hungry during the game too, you know. Uh, but most of all, the thing you know you're going to do is is have a good time, right? Like, it's, it's a time when you just come into the arena for about two hours and, and sit with your family and friends and have a good time with this and help us uh, to put a smile on your face. Well, I've been to a few of the shows. They are definitely entertaining. What is your favorite part about being a Harlem Globetrotter? My favorite part about being a Globetrotter is um, anywhere we go, right? Um, I'm representing a 96 year history. So when people see this red, white, and blue, um, you know, it takes them back to a happier time in their life when they went to a game with their parents or with their grandparents. And even though they not, might not know who Zeus is, I give them an opportunity to, to share a smile. And the fact that I get the chance to share that just for playing for such a historic team, I think is very special and it's a huge honor.
much. Well, it has been an honor chatting with you here on CI Living this afternoon, and we wish you and the rest of the Globetrotters the best of luck when you come to town here on January 11th at the State Farm Center. And um, maybe you can break another record while you're here. What do you think? You never know. And you can see all of those records and buy tickets for the game at HarlemGlobeTrotters.com where you can uh, see me doing those cool records and uh, maybe see some videos as well. All right. Well, safe travels getting here and we wish you the best of luck. We appreciate you being with us. There is a look at the website that Zeus mentioned and we will be sure to have all of the links on how you can get tickets and go check him and his friends out over at our website, CILiving.tv.